your auto insurance. And uh, we were talking in the pregame program, Ricky Bo and I, about automatics in sports. And Zach Wheeler is one of those guys we thought, he's on the mound. You got to win, or you should get a win. Unfortunately, Sonny Gray had other things to say about it as he makes his debut for St. Louis. Ricky Bo, the double plays against there, all sorts of issues tonight for the Phillies. They lose three to nothing, drop down below 500 to five and six, and three and two now on the road trip. Yeah, you name it, it went for the Phillies tonight. Uh, runners in scoring position, 0 for 8. What else is new? I mean, we've been seeing those kind of bad numbers all season long. I've been saying everybody's got to heat up at yeah. once. Phillies can't. The Phillies did not hit the ball hard at all tonight. Say what you will. Say what you want. Okay, Castellanos had a couple hits tonight. None of his hits were hit hard. Uh, you look at Bryson Stott, not really hitting the ball hard, ended up with some hits. Trey Turner, same exact thing. Up and down the lineup, they were not barreling the baseball. I understand Sonny Gray is a good pitcher. He's going to make you chase outside of the strike zone. Understandable. I think they, the, a couple of the relievers for the Cardinals, I got a, a Libator, or Lebator. I, I believe that they gave him a, a little bit of a break. The dude could not hit the broad side of a barn. I mean, I'm not kidding you. He could not hit the strike zone. Next thing you know, double play, boom, boom, you're out of the inning. I, I mean, you got to make this guy throw strikes. It may, if you have to, get the two strikes. You're already in a good situation. He had walked, I believe, the first two hitters. Yeah, he walks the first two hitters. And then all, Harper comes in, swings, check swings at the first pitch, swings at the second, third pitch. You got to be a little bit more selective. Look, look for something to drive. It's a frustrating night in St. Louis. Let's go there. Check in with Ruben Amaro Jr., who called tonight's game with Tom McCarthy. Ruben, as uh, gritty and gutsy as last night's. 10 inning win was. That's how frustrating it was. With Zach Wheeler on the mound, you thought the Phillies would have a better fate. Yeah, I mean, I think that Zach Wheeler threw the ball actually very, very well and uh, gave them an opportunity to, uh, to stay in this ball game. Really gutsy performance of picking up seven innings. And I know he gave up three runs, but that's still a pretty quality start for me. And, you know, the bats just haven't gotten going pretty much all year long, but this was uh, one of their worst efforts. Um, you know, unfortunately, they could not get the big base hit or any base hits with the runners in scoring position. And, you know, 13 strikeouts, uh, that's really not going to get it done. Um, it's just one of those nights. And, unfortunately, uh, it was on the Philly side where they just couldn't get things going. And, uh, and you know, you got to tip the cap to the, to the St. Louis Cardinals. They had a plan. And uh, Sonny, you know, Sonny Gray's an uh, outstanding breaking ball pitcher. Uh, the Phillies have been struggling with breaking balls out of the zone. And, uh, you know, they continued with JoJo Romero and then on with Helsley. So uh, you got to give them some credit for executing their pitches. Ruben, the Phillies had plenty of chances. I think there's no doubt about that. But I, I was just saying, like, they didn't barrel anything tonight. I think they had a couple of hard hit outs. Other than that, I mean, they had eight hits in this game. I believe it was three or four infield hits, though. I mean, well, yeah. it is. My biggest thing is it seems as though you get one guy hitting the ball well one night, one guy another, but they can't seem to group it. Does that seem to be a little bit of an issue to you too? Yeah, the one guy that's really putting together good at bats from a bat to at bat is, is Brandon Marsh, and he didn't even really have a full spring training, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but, um, you know, it, it's been sort of like that the entire early part of this season. I mean, this is a team that – has a, a ton of offensive uh, firepower, then they just really have not swung the bats all that well. And in fact, they weren't really swinging the bats all that well in spring training and it's sort of carried over a little bit here. Uh, we all know that they are much, much better hitters than we've seen and more consistent hitters than we've seen, but we haven't seen it yet. And uh, hopefully they can, get it, they can go, get it going here pretty soon. Ruben, is there any concern? I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I watched Wheeler tonight. I understood what he was trying to do. I understand he pitched his way through this game. His everything that he threw tonight was two miles an hour below what he normally would on average. Is there any concern there? Plus, it, it, there was a little bit of a noticeable dropping of the elbow at points in the game. Yeah, he looked like he was tiring a little bit, but again, he pitched and he gutted it out. Um, maybe a little bit of a concern, but not not wholly. 
Um, I, I think that if he was ailing or there's something wrong with the, with the guy, you wouldn't see the sort of movement um, that, that he has on his pitches, and you wouldn't see the command. And see, that's when I would get concerned is, okay, you see some of the drop-off in the velocity, but if there's a real issue with him, uh, it would be about his command and him not being able to command the strike zone, which he did very, very well. And, in fact, you know, he didn't get a whole lot of breaks from the umpire. He got, you know, uh, there were some pitches the, in, in, the in a couple have, of those innings. Ruben, where, Ruben, the umpires have sucked all season long everywhere right now. <laughs> it, it, has been, uh, it has been very interesting to watch in the least. Uh, it's, it, it needs to get better. This is the major leagues. And I'm seeing a lot of inconsistency. And what I what bothers me is that you're seeing inconsistency from pitch to pitch. You'll see one pitch thrown in one spot that is called a ball, same spot called a strike. And that makes it very difficult for both the hitter and the pitcher because you just don't know what you're going to get. It's like a box of chocolates. You're never going to know what you're going to get. And I think it's important that uh, that tightens up a little bit because, you know, you're, you're, we're, we're at the highest level here. You hope that you get the highest level of performance behind the plate and with the with, with the umpire and crew as well. Ruben, going into the bottom of the seventh, Zach Wheeler was at 86 pitches, and I thought, all right, he'll throw a couple more, but he ends up with 107 pitches, and Rob Thompson has shown a proclivity for, I guess you'd call it protecting his guys, not letting him go uh, that long, third start of the season. Were you surprised at all that Zach Wheeler went 107? I was not surprised because he was pitching and getting people out. I mean, uh, you know, it, a lot of it depends on – and you have to go through the eye test as well. If the guys are getting really, really good swings off of him, that's one thing. And they weren't really pounding the baseball off of him. I mean, he was still spotting his, his fastball. He was still moving the ball around. He still had pretty good bite on his, his breaking stuff. And he was utilizing that split, which helped him a lot as well. So um, not surprised. And, uh, and frankly, I think it was really, really gutsy. This was a situation where you had a lot of guys in the pen that were down and uh, really only maybe a few guys who were available, and it sort of helps reset this bullpen for tomorrow. Obviously, you want Nola to go really long, but at least you have some guys who got got off their feet, didn't have to get up. Um, only Pinto came out to throw, and so that, I think that's a, that's a very good thing and a very great team thing that you saw Zach Wheeler do today. All right, speaking of team, you're a team guy yourself, my friend. Thanks so much for joining us. As always, we'll check you tomorrow afternoon for the getaway game. Ruben Amaro Jr. joining us from the ballpark. Seven innings pitch for Zach Wheeler. Gives up six hits, three earned runs, five strikeouts and a walk, 107 pitches. That's the most pitches for Wheeler since August 15th. At 2023, I'll ask you the same question I asked Ruben. Were you surprised that he was in for 107? Started the inning at 86. Yes, yes, and yes, I was. Because I, I got I to tell you, you were there. I said I probably would take him out right now. I want him to get to 90 pitches, maybe throw him in there for a batter or two, get him up to 95, then take him out. But to go over that 100 mark up to 107 in his third start of the season, I think, I think that's a lot. I think that was pushing it a little bit. Uh, but the, the one thing I learned about Zach Wheeler tonight is that he's, he's got him. He's not afraid. And he will go in there without his best stuff and be able to pitch. And when, when you really think about his breaking pitches weren't on point tonight. They were kind of looping a little bit. He wasn't staying on top of everything. His fastball, he wasn't necessarily staying on top. He used a lot of movement, a lot of sideways movement uh, to, get, uh, to get out of this ball game. And you give him a lot of credit for that. He pitched tonight. First shutout loss of the season for the Phillies. They dropped down to five and six. Here's Rob Thompson on this loss and on JT Real Muto. Uh, neck contusion. Uh, we'll check him tomorrow. Doesn't look like there's like, any broken bones or anything like that. Um, yeah, we'll just check him tomorrow. What do you have? Just flush? Just kind of on the, on I this. believe, on the right side. Right above the collarbone. I mean, you know, it's pretty bad for him to leave a game. Yeah. Yeah, well, um, yeah, he, he started getting a little headache and he just didn't look normal, so we got him out. Was he checked for, did you check him for a concussion? Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. He was fine there? Yep. Okay. Well, what do you think of your offense right now? It's, well, yeah, we're, we're struggling to score runs. You know, we're, we had three opportunities tonight and two double plays, and the seventh, we had two, two strikeouts. So, um, 
you know, that'll change. It's, I always talk about it, and uh, I have full confidence that we're going to score runs. Wheeler's pitched so well, three starts now, no wins to show for it. Yeah. You know, I mean, does that sort of make it even tougher when he's... Yeah, you know, he's, he's, he's pitched great. I mean, tonight he was really, really good. Um, sinker was great, command was great, split was good. Um, yeah, he just, we just haven't been able to score for him, so uh, but we'll, that'll change. What do you think of Gray? He was good. Debut. Yeah, he was what, good. What, what stuck out about him? Uh, just strike throwing ability. Uh, he got, we got a lot, he got a lot of chase from us. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, th I thought his stuff was good. He gave a lot of guys trying too hard, maybe seeing their. Yeah, he, averages up there. And yeah, you know that that happens, and I, I don't know if if everybody's doing that, but um, but that typically happens when you're when you're going through something like this. You just got to relax and get back to their game. Is like is it is more is the lack of quality contact or the chase? I mean, what would you consider to be like a bigger factor? Both. Okay. You know, we're not creating any slug right now, and that's part of our mo and and. Uh, you know, tonight, and I, I think the f last few games we've been pretty good with staying in the strike zone. Tonight we, we got out of the zone a little bit. If, if yeah, it's too early to tell about the stops on a day game tomorrow, probably, if JT is okay. Yeah, we'll see how JT is when okay. he comes in. Okay. We'll see how JT is tomorrow. He'll be examined. He was pulled because he said he had a little bit of a headache examined on the field, so we'll see about JT. With regard to Zach Wheeler, Rob Thompson says he pitched great tonight. He was really, really good. Sinker was great. Command was great. Split was good. We just weren't able to score for him. What do you think of those comments, Ricky Bo? Uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't think this was one of Zach's best games. Uh, did he battle through? Yeah, absolutely. Did he, did he get people out? Yes, because that's what he does. Um, but, I mean, in general, I'm used to him being dominant. I'm used to him being overpowering. That was not there tonight, but his pitching ability was.